Hello everyone, my name is Prime and welcome back to this episode of ATS Showcases and today I'm going to be checking out the Western Star 4900EX. This is a beautiful truck mod uh, that is available on the Steam Workshop so of course it will be linked down in the description below and let's go ahead and check out some of the options that come with it because there are actually quite a few. Now I have to say I was actually pleasantly surprised with the amount of options that you can do that come stock with this truck. Of course you can actually do a flat top version as well but I'm running the full stratosphere version today various different chassis configurations up to 8x4 which i'm using today and just down to 6x4 normal regular stuff like that and oh there's actually a low max oh it stances it down a bit as well i did not even notice that until now but hey that's pretty cool now engine sounds and i guess the sounds in general i have to say uh stock with the mod when you download it from uh, the Steam Workshop. It doesn't actually come with its own engine mods itself and you have to download a separate mod through a third party website for various engine compatibility with certain other engine sound mods and stuff like that. So today, in today's video I'm not actually running any modded sounds in general. It's just the stock ATS sounds and I'm running the uh, King of the Hill Caterpillar down here for the most power because obviously we need it for the delivery we're doing today. Transmission, I went up to the 18 speed uh, pretty self explanatory there for especially a heavy haul now interior this is where we get into some of the options we do have quite a few options especially on the outside uh, of the truck and stuff like that you can do with the brown or gray depending on the trim that you really like uh paint it actually does come with some stock i guess you could say different skins that you can change some of them are a little bit more interesting and other of course uh the ones that you can change the colors are what I found really, really vibrant, just to kind of tell you, you should probably change it. Unless if you're a fan of it, to each their own, I guess. And then when it comes to the exterior options, well, this is where you can have fun. From everything from the bumper to the grill, just about everything has an option that you can run. And yeah, it is, uh, it, it is pretty cool, I have to say. And I just realized that I forgot to actually show the interior in the store page, but it is a really nice actually interior. interior. You've got like a screen or a monitor back there for a TV, whatever you want to call it. And it's got some really nice detail on the inside. I have to say it is very quite nice. And on the outside, of course, today's truck, uh, I decided to go with this kind of striped uh, paint skin that I then put the black and white and a little bit of gray on and it does look really, really good. So let's go ahead, get it started up. Of course, it sounds just like a normal... Uh, cat engine in American Truck Simulator. I guess you could say unfortunately, but hey ho, we'll do what we need to do. So hopefully everyone is doing well. I certainly am. You know what? It's nice to be doing another episode here on ATS. Um, I'm not going to lie. It has been uh, definitely a bit busy um, when it comes to uh, the last few weeks. I talked about that a bit on the past episode uh, on ATS, I guess that would have been the Volvo VNR. Uh, so I won't go into that too much, uh, but you know what? It is nice to be doing a week of multiple different uploads. Uh, now I am noticing um, a performance hit a little bit uh, here with this truck. I'm not sure if that is just because my OBS updated. I doubt so though. Um, I think it's down to the truck because I go to the exterior and we're pretty good. Um, so that has me slightly concerned. I think I missed my turn, but I don't think it will be a big deal uh, considering it's just a, a block situation. And I'll just double check here on the map, actually, that it's not going to really mess with my trip. No, it is not. Uh, I think they just have me coming out this way anyway. So we'll go straight and turn left. It's a lot more straightforward. Well, quite literally, I guess. Uh, but other than that, well, obviously, we're talking about the truck here. I am noticing a bit of a performance hit, especially on the inside, so keep that in mind. It's okay when you're not moving and stuff, or at least maybe it will iron itself out. Um, I, I'm not sure. Maybe that was just a little bit of something, something, but uh, yeah, I, it's uh, it could be. It, it very well could be a mod thing. I know some of the trucks, especially when you've got lots of chrome and stuff like that, uh, can cause issues. Uh, with performance hit it's the way it is uh, but other than that it is a it is a very nice truck i mean i could have downloaded the uh there's a few mods that would have been for if you have z mod engines or another one i can't remember what it was there's a few other like accessory uh pack compatibility stuff uh that you can get if you really want to uh i didn't bother in, in all honesty i thought you know what let's just keep it what you would download because i i'm not a huge fan of third-party websites now i know some of them are really good this one 
I didn't really recognize the URL. URL. Ah, let's see if I can see that. U L R. Uh, or URL. I guess URL, not ULR, whatever. You know what I mean? I didn't really recognize the uh, the address uh, that much, uh, so I didn't risk it. Uh, I'm sure it's fine. Uh, I'm not saying that it could be sketchy or anything uh, in, in general, but I don't know. To each their own on that one, I decided just to run the truck what it is. Uh, it is kind of unfortunate, though, that some of the other sounds don't work with it. Um, I, I'm not going to lie, because this kind of truck would have been really nice to have if there were uh, actual uh, engine sounds that could work with it without the use of a compatibility mod. But, again, it's the way it is. Um, let me know if there's actually another uh, version of this truck that you can actually get uh, that it does have an engine mod. I didn't see it on the Steam Workshop when I was looking it up. Actually, this truck was in my recommended feed or whatever you want to call it on the Steam Workshop. Uh, so, I mean, it is a like, it has really good ratings. For the truck itself, detail-wise, it is really quite nice. Um, but, again, there's just little things that are going to... Uh, cause havoc uh, whether it's performance like I am noticing a bit of a perfor performance hit here so I do apologize if the video is a little less smooth uh, than I may like it or may maybe than it's normally is but uh, again I can't do anything about that uh, now <laughs> now that we're into the video here and other than that well uh, we've I, I did notice actually when I first got into this truck I had to adjust my audio settings a bit um, even though it's the stock engine sound of uh, the interior cabin uh, sounds in general are uh, it's just a very different I guess you could say muffle but it's just a different sounding um, the cab compared to a lot of the trucks I have I don't want to say it's maybe less of a quality or more of quality I don't want to try and compare stuff but in general it's just let's say it's a little bit interesting I'm gonna be honest um, I had to adjust it down a bit because it was clipping uh, the interior sounds even though my game sound in general isn't very high um, it was clipping stuff uh, just within the game itself, so that is something to be uh, keep in mind just in case you want to try out the truck. But I think there's just a few little things that um, are questionable, I guess you could say about it. Um, and it, that could be just fine tuning or whatever. Um, but you know what? It's it's just, it's the way it is. I'm I'm honestly uh, not going to complain too much. It is a very very nice truck. Uh, overall when it comes to detail and so yeah I won't complain too much so it this the uh, by the looks of it the game has smoothed back out for me um, so I'm gonna hope then that's the same uh, in the recording uh, well, I guess I'll find that one out um, but it, the, I'm out of the city areas as well so it does have a slight performance impact uh, especially if you're PC is like mine, where it's not overly uh, powerful. Uh, for those who don't know, my graphics card is a 1650. Not a TI, not super, whatever you want to call it. No, it's just a 1650. Doesn't have any external power, PCI power um, inputs on it. It just uses the PCI slot. Um, it was actually the graphics card I did the upgrade from my old desktop, which was a pre-built uh, when I first started the channel. Uh, part way in. I started the channel when I was just running integrated graphics on that desktop and uh, it was not fun at all. Got that graphics card because that was the biggest thing I could put in it at the time and the thing I could uh, afford and I did that. It revolutioned for that and then obviously built the new PC but obviously things happened in the PC market also mainly the graphical uh, car the graphic card market and well we all know uh, or most of us know where that sits right now. Um, it's getting better, but I built the PC intending to put one of the new um, cards in it. So technically, my PC with the power supply that's in it can run up to a 3080. Whether I actually put the 3080 in it um, is another story, uh, but I wanted to make sure it was, I guess you could say, semi-future proofed, um, but a good bang for your buck PC as well. So. Really, my, my goal, uh, especially when I was building it, would be like around the 3070-ish, so you get uh, good performance but not too, too expensive. Obviously, now NVIDIA's released a boatload of other GPUs within that range, I guess, in the 30 series range, so you can say what you want about uh, their marketing tactic there and for the supply and demand issue, uh, but overall, that's where 
basically where my computer sits. It was it's intended for a bigger graphics card, but I don't have it. So I do feel performance hits uh, quite significantly, um, especially on these higher mods, just because I, it can only run so much. Especially I'm, I also use um, the the card to record. I use the built-in uh, encoder on it, the NVENC encoder, encoder. So that's how I can record really uh, and honestly that's the one big perk for me and the one main use of why I would go NVIDIA instead of AMD is just because of that NVENC encoder and how powerful it actually is. Uh, but that's something as a, as a content creator whatever you want to call me um, it's, uh, it's something that's very very valuable in a PC and so that's something I kind of just need to uh, I, I need to have in all honesty but Anyways, that's a whole other story. Um, uh, hopefully, I can get one a card, a hand on some form of RTX level NVIDIA card at some point. Uh, that would be huge uh, for performance and opening my ability for higher, uh, various other uh, higher quality recordings and resolutions and stuff like that. I would love to be able to actually run 1440p. Uh, for those who are really confused, I actually just have everything 1080p but I upload to YouTube, I upscale it to 1440, uh, so then you get, you guys get to see the better, or the, my videos get utilized by the, uh, the better YouTube encoder, uh, which is, if you right click and go to stats for nerds, or whatever they call it, uh, on, uh, on the video, you, you, when you go there, and then there'll be an encoder or codec, uh, option that shows, and on all my normal videos, I guess you could say, excluding Prime News, um, should be in the VP9 codec, which is the higher one. Uh, the Prime News videos and select, especially my older videos, uh, before I started doing this, are all in the, I guess it's AVC, I think it is. Um, not that it's necessarily that bad, but when YouTube compresses and processes everything, the VP9 encoder keeps everything higher, but for me to do that for the channel of my size, um, or to basically gain access to that, I need to run, I need to put 1440 content or higher up. So for me, quality wise and size wise, going from 1080 to 1440 isn't a massive jump, and you really don't notice the, the difference quality wise when you go up uh, from there, or from 1080p to 1440 when it comes to pixelization. It's just mainly um, on YouTube, it's a, it's a leap. Uh, ahead of each other. Plus, it also means that if YouTube's having a, a problem trying to process, um, uh, trying to process the video, uh, it means I can actually get it up to you guys um, earlier, if if need be, because I can actually just put it out when the 1080p version has been done. It will be in the slightly worse encoder, um, but at least it can get out to you guys, and uh, it's uh, you won't really notice it that much but it's overall just what I try and push but long story short I would like to be able to actually run 1440 or even 4k uh, depending on what the monitor uh, I would get or and for that matter the graphics card uh, it would be really nice because it just means that everything is just a higher quality recorded at a higher quality yes bigger file size but you know what uh, if it means that higher quality content and a, a wider range of stuff can be done so be it I would actually I wouldn't mind that at all even 1440, to be honest, running um, running a, a legitimate 1440p monitor and just the quality there, that would be that would be massive, let alone going up to 4K, that would be uh, pretty insane. But nonetheless, uh, that is kind of where I sit here, so um, performance will waver depending on the mod, uh, that's something I have to do. I do run the game pretty much on the knife edge, I guess you could say. I ever since the lighting update has come in it took a little bit to fine tune that um, but I have got it both ATS and ETS2 running on a uh, well really similar settings but uh, they it's pretty much on the knife edge of uh, performance uh, keep, keeping stock 60 for basically everything but not uh, losing too much visual quality uh, so there's various tricks and stuff uh, that I've learned for my uh, specific machine but it's very hard uh, to be able to recommend it I guess to other people because I never know what your setup is and if you've got anything better than what I've got then you'll be able to do something completely different uh, but you know what we'll cross that bridge when it comes to um, it comes to it I guess when it comes to uh, 
me upgrading a graphics card. That would be really nice. Uh, even doing a well, I mean, long time down the uh, long down the road, I would a, a kind of a, a goal would almost be able to do a dual PC recording slash uh, streaming setup. So then the gaming PC can be just full tilt performance, um, and then the recording slash streaming rig can uh, deal with well the recording and streaming uh i would like to do more streams if i have more time um this week i've had i guess a bit more time but nothing um unfortunately where i can do uh, on days that I, I could stream to you guys when a lot of you guys are online um that's just i guess a perk of uh being able to tell when you guys generally watch the videos um that's something that is available to creators in the dashboard not anything specific about a person don't worry no privacy stuff is being um kicked here uh am i turning okay i do have to turn left uh it is very dark that gps i don't know i do not know why uh, but it is very very dark hard on the brakes actually that was better than i thought big nose on the front of this thing or a big front end it depends on how you want to say a big bonnet for my um for my friends over uh, in europe or I guess at some places, depends on how you say it. Big hood here in, here in North America often. Well, well, well. well actually, it's been ni it's nice to be back here in Wyoming, and I, I guess yeah, we're all we're all still in Wyoming here. Haven't gone through a different part, uh, state here. It's nice to be back. Uh, been doing stuff. Uh, Why well, really all across the uh, map here on ATS? Generally speaking. I tend to stick to the newer DLCs, um, and of course, whenever the whole California Reskin Project uh, next phase gets in here, uh, we've got phase one in Northern California, but it is limited on the area, I guess you could say. There's not too, like the cluster of cities are going to be really coming in phase two, three, and possibly four, depending on what the plan is there. Um, so that that's why I generally stick to you know Oregon, Washington, even. Utah's fine, uh, Colorado, uh, Wyoming, all that stuff. I try and stick up in Idaho, of course. I stick up in the more north, well, I guess northwest to northeastern um, edge of the map. That way, I don't have to be concerned about. Um, well, I mean, performance is actually pretty good in those areas, but it's also just quality. It just stuff looks really good uh, up in that area, and I mean. I'll go back to the other places uh, a lot more. I will do it every here and there, but generally, especially for these showcase areas, it's nice to do it in the higher detailed uh, places. It also shows off the game a little bit better than newer uh, bits. But again, not everyone who gets American Truck uh, who is new will actually have these expansions. I know a lot of people probably would end up with some. Uh, I'd be going right here. Oh, dude, let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out. Box van. <sighs> Yeah, well, I mean, that's kind of my fault. I uh, I really wasn't paying attention to where I need to go on my GPS, which I can barely see at the moment, so rip. Uh, you guys, depending on the monitor type you have, may be able to see it better, but I definitely can't see it that great, but oh well, we'll uh, we'll make do with that. Uh, let's see. I still don't need to be exit. Where do I need to exit? That's actually a good question, so then I don't miss my exit. Oh, okay, so next exit past this one right here okay well that's good to know i probably should have looked at i should have looked into that a little bit better at the beginning of the episode when i was planning stuff out how at least then i would know but i do try and look at the routes when i'm preparing for these episodes so i actually know where i'm going so then it's a little bit better especially for some of the trucks that have uh, the mod trucks especially that the gps's aren't always great uh, whether it's visibility like i'm noticing on this gps in particular for the light of it or if it's a positioning thing or if I get distracted about something at least I have a general note of where I should be um, and where I'm heading uh, but you know what I, my, I, 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 I thought I looked at it for this episode but it must not have obviously not because well we're I, I had to check there so. I'm not perfect people I am not perfect and considering uh, the amount of episodes for across multiple games I've been doing I, I think this week has actually gone pretty smoothly uh, it'll be one video every day, excluding, I guess it was Tuesday, I think, because my <laughs> my uh, videos I had planned, or was it, which one was that? I guess Ukraine would have been Monday. Uh, so I think it was the Project Cars video, I want to say. 
Um, yes, Project Cars video uh, should have gone out on the Tuesday, but um, good old rendering times. That didn't happen. Uh, so I it went out uh, Wednesday along with the uh, Volvo VNR. Uh, video, which was always, it was a really nice uh, truck to actually be doing. It was a really, really high quality mod. We're going for, it. I'm sorry, uh, Range Rover. We're, oh good, he's turning anyways. Um, it, it, it's a really nice uh, truck indeed. Uh, where am I going? Am I right here? I think it is. Yeah, that's, that's the road. Okay. I got confused because there's a rest station right there as well, a gas station. Uh, so it is try and get around this corner because it is a long load here heavy load but I figured I should do that with this truck because well it is a uh, yeah, I, I, I believe that Western Star generally does it as like the most powerful truck or whatever it is I don't know or like the big hauler or something like that that's kind of like what it's market for so uh, I had to do that uh, don't need to turn in there I can barely see that GPS so I'm kind of driving blind here. I'm gonna hope that I go. Yeah, it looks like I go up this way a bit more. Uh, I don't know if this is just uh, if I have to turn off or if this just goes straight into my delivery point. Not a hundred percent sure, but I guess we'll find out. Oh, it looks like we will be turning left here. Oh, okay, so it is. It it is. It doesn't just drive right into there. Well, okay, that's fine by me. So uh, let's swing this guy around here kind of beautiful. It was a little bit more clunky than I wanted it to, but it works. It works indeed. I was carrying a little bit too much speed, I think. Too much speed. The need for speed. Prime needs his speed. Well, in the truck. Yeah, don't, don't worry. Uh, not a different version of speed, which I won't go into because we're being YouTube friendly. Alright. Um, <laughs> no, in all honesty, I don't need the other version either. I never have, never will. But yeah, I'm gonna get off of that before <laughs> before I get myself in trouble. So we're almost here at delivery point. Oh well, yeah, okay. You can tell that today's episode has been a little bit light for <laughs> content to talk about. Um, y yeah, I in all uh, this, I mean, it's it's the way it is. Sometimes there's more to talk about than others. Today was definitely a lighter day, and oh wow, this is a facility and a half. I can see why they need a wheel loader. Judging by what we're rolling up to here. At least this actually makes sense. Um, some of the deliveries... Well, they generally do make sense, but not all of them are amazingly realistic. And why? Is this kind of like salt? Kind of looks like it would be salt. In all honesty. But I don't know what it actually is. It kind of it does kind of look like a salt. Or maybe it's a sand, but a very, very pure white, obviously. Uh... That's very interesting, actually. What does that say? I couldn't tell what the sign said. And I went past it before. Come on, go, go to the outside. You're going you're gonna to let me see it? Risk tolerance. Continue to make safer decisions in the, the workplace. Oh. Okay, that was anticlimactic. You know, there are quite a few details in these areas that I always do enjoy. Um, these big industrial complexes are always really, really neat uh, for me to be able to deliver to and from because it is just a lot of fun uh, to be able to do some of these things. Uh, and actually, I think, you know, I think I actually recognize this kind of plant. Maybe I've been here uh, recently. Um, where I almost forgot to turn and get out of here. Uh, so maybe now we're doing the delivery to it, because I know we came from maybe this area. I think I've maybe delivered to this before, or at least taken something from here. So that's quite neat. We didn't stop, we just went for it because we're rebel truckers. All right, let's pull into the parking spot here nice and easy today, because obviously oversized load, they don't try and make us reverse, which is quite lovely. Oh. Overshot it. Let's just put her back it up a little bit. Beautiful stuff. All right. Now, thank you guys so much for watching. Let's make sure the uh, truck gets shut off here. Close out all the random menus that keep popping up in my face. 
And thank you all so much for watching. This is quite a nice truck. I mean, yes, it's got a few things that uh, maybe, I don't, I don't want to say they weren't ironed out, but a few things to obviously keep in mind, especially if you're running a system that maybe isn't the heavier on specs. It generally did run fine by the looks of it, but there are a, there is the possibility that it it may not be the greatest on performance, especially maybe the bigger version with the extra chrome and stuff that it tend to do with these trucks. Just keep that in mind. But overall, I mean, it is actually a really nice uh, truck mod, and it's nice to actually have the uh, 4900 EX in the game, or at least as a mod. It is really quite nice. Uh, so thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.